Let's talk about headlines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go a little faster here, but when you do a headline, you gotta solve, either solve a common problem, give them a benefit, imagine what, the, again, believable testimonials. When you do a testimonial, don't go Gary G from Des Moines, because nobody believes you, we think he's dead. Gary Green from Phoenix, Arizona says, Give him a last name, otherwise nobody believes you. Never forget, always remember and never forget, the radio station that all of us listen to in our minds every day, WIIFM. Anybody know what that station is? What's in it for me? That's what your customers want, that's what your customers have to get. Well, a couple of facts about headlines. And the beginning is really more important. Five times more people read or listen to your headline than the rest of your commercial or your ad or your letter or whatever. Headlines with benefits in them get four times more readership than headlines without a benefit. Don't waste your money. Make sure to include your brand or your company name in every headline because of those people who read them, they'll all see it. Otherwise, you lose 80% of the people who, oh, I saw a great thing in the thing, but I don't know who it was. Yeah, if you get a commercial on TV, ah, oh, it's so funny, I laughed till the soda came out of my nose. Well, what was it about? What are they selling? Well, I don't remember. Too creative. You can be too creative. Got to watch out for the false attention grabber. We call them false alarms. Here's a wonderful ad that was in a trade show magazine, a trade magazine. It's a cute puppy dog. And by the way, there's a little thing about copywriters. We know that the three B's, if you don't have anything else to say, look at the three B's. Beagles, babies, and breasts. <laughs> if you don't have nothing else to do, focus on one of them. Because bound to get somebody's attention. Unfortunately, sometimes it could be lost money. Here's a case. Sits, stay, and it does. What a cute puppy. Everybody believes it's a cute puppy. Even you cat people out there. What a waste of money. How come? Because this ad is for a book bindery. Not only do they make puppy owners and people who like dogs angry at them when they said, oh, I've been tricked. But guess of all the people who were looking for a book bindery in that trade publication passed them by because they said, I don't care about dogs. <laughs> I need a book bindery. 